Remember Susie Crabgrass? Hi, Ned. Sure, she was Ned's dream girl, but was she secretly the most complex, dynamic character in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? Here are seven reasons Susie's the best. First of all, she's a total boss. She manages to balance cheerleading, community service, being co-captain of her volleyball team, see you on the court, and being the school spirit queen. She knows exactly what she wants in a relationship, so she's not about to settle for being stood up by Seth. Where were you? You were supposed to meet me in the parking lot. And what are you wearing? You can't be serious about going with me looking like that. What? School colors. Go Wolves. That's it. It's over, Seth. Next up, Susie Crabgrass is one classy lady. She listens to Mozart when she plays volleyball. I mean, this girl is deep. You stink today. Mozart is stuck in my head. It's like some kind of mind control. Quick, I need to listen to some real music. No, wait. But I'm listening to Mozart. I kind of like it. <laughs> and she starred in a little play called Romeo and Juliet by Mr. William Shakespeare. Heard of him? Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? I am coming, my dearest. Why, Miss Flatteris, <laughs> now with. I'm getting dizzy. I can't hold on. So we know she's strong, independent, and classy, but she's also brave enough to own who she is, even when she feels vulnerable. Excuse me, capture worker girl? You missed a spot. By the way, I think it's great that you're totally not embarrassed to be seen working in the cafeteria. Thanks. Oh, and Susie, Legislady Wad. Oh, I just remembered. I gotta go. Bye. What's her problem? I guess I thought that being a kid on the lunch program wasn't very cool. To me, and a lot of other kids, you'd be a lot cooler if you got behind that counter. Hey, lunch girl, you missed a spot? Susie? You're in the lunch program? Yeah. Is there a problem? Well, it's just we hang out, and the whole thing just seems so dirty. Well, let me clean that for you. You missed a spot. <laughs> Which brings us to number four. She's got principles, and she stands by them. Free your mind and free the frogs. Free the frogs. Protest all you want, you two. But let me remind you that dissection is a mandatory class requirement. And if you don't do it, you'll get an F. Fine, then I'll take that F and so on that. What? You will be dividing into groups to dissect a frog. But thanks to Mr. Bigby, you now have two options. Um, pause. Why is he giving Ned all the credit? That was all Susie. Real dissection or virtual dissection on the computer? Think of all the frogs we're saving. My hero. Next up, let's talk Susie and Moe's. Crabgrass, Mosley. At first, they were middle school rivals. And I'm gonna be head cheerleader. You wouldn't make the team anyway. But they had a lot more in common than they thought. This is just a yes or no quiz on things you like. Yes, I know. I pass it out and the girl who scores the highest becomes my new best friend. I have nothing in common with Doris. I have no idea how she aced my fake yearbook survey. Survey? That wasn't a study hall quiz I cheated on. Cheated on? Yeah. I copied all the answers from Crabgrass. Crabgrass? Susie, Crabgrass scored 100% on my best friend quiz? So Susie set their rivalry aside, and she turned out to be one of Moses' closest friends. I don't think we're supposed to turn everything into a death match. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've been kicked out of every club. But we're having fun. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Need another reason to love Suze? Awesome, because we have one. She's super understanding. Susie's willing to forgive, even in tough situations, like when she finds out her best friend and her boyfriend kissed at the school dance. Are you guys trying to tell me that you kissed at last night's dance? You, you knew? Jack told me. 
Anyways, I was trying to see if you would make a trustworthy boyfriend and if you would make a trustworthy friend. You passed. We should have told you right away. The kiss was an accident. I totally believe you. I'll call you tonight and I'll see you tomorrow. But don't take her kindness for granted. Because coming in at number seven, this girl's not afraid to tell it like it is. Susie, I never meant to hang up on you. Sweeney pulled the phone away and the hang-up happened when most hit me. Then the reception breaking up in the hall, not me breaking up with you. Okay, okay, I believe you. But if you ever hang up on me again, we're finished. So what we're saying is, Susie has so many layers. Susie Crabgrass? Susie grows as a character throughout Ned's Declassified. She starts out laughing at Ned in class and totally rejecting him. What are you doing? But over the course of the series, Susie develops into an independent, assertive, brave, understanding character. That sounds great. So you could say that the most dynamic character in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide is... Susie Crabgrass. Susie Crabgrass. Susie Crabgrass. Susie, Susie Crabgrass. Crabgrass. Susie! Do you agree with our take on Susie? Who's your favorite Ned's Declassified character? Tell us in the comments below. Want even more classic Nickelodeon moments? Don't forget to subscribe to the Nick Rewind YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to never miss a new video. It's like a blast from the past, but right now, time, man, it's slippery.